What's going on guys, I'm Bill and welcome to Bill's How To. Today I'm going to show you guys the quickest and easiest way to clean a dirty oven just like this. So as you can see, this is pretty heavily stained. It looks like it hasn't been cleaned for a few years. Um, usually you can get away with using natural ingredients like vinegar and bicarbonated soda. However, a few issues that I find with those. Number one, it takes a lot of time and effort to actually remove the stains. And number two, you might have to repeat the process. So it's not doesn't work as effective as an oven cleaner. Um, so you might have to actually repeat the process. Now my job is to get this clean in as quick and as little time as possible. So what I'll be using is an oven cleaner just like this one here. So Selly's oven cleaner, let that focus for you guys. So Selly's oven cleaner is what I'm using. Um, this is very cheap and very efficient. Um, it costs about $4 to buy this and you can get two ovens out of the way with it. So it's a very, very cheap product and I'm about to show you guys how to do it. But let's do this. So this is the condition of the oven guys. Horrendous, have a look at that. Really baked on, struggles to come off. Um, so this is a really good example to show you guys how effective this product is. Let's get started. So the first thing we want to do is remove these trays and just pop them into the sink. Just remember guys, anytime you're using chemicals, make sure you use a mask and use your gloves. Believe me, you're gonna need it. So just shake the can and then spray it all in. Simply close that up and let it sit there for about five minutes. So once again, we'll do the same thing, but on the trays this time. So after five minutes, you can come back, open up the oven, and you can see there that the chemical has actually gotten to work. I'll show you guys a bit of a close-up. So as you can see, it's completely broken everything up, and it's now time to start wiping that away. So what I like to do first is simply scrub it a bit, and just work at those areas, make sure we get off any of those little areas that the chemicals actually missed, and we can get through, clean that up perfectly. So once you've given it a little scrub, all you need is simple paper towels and then you can wipe off all that excess. Personally, I don't like to use gloves at this point. At least that way I can get my fingers around the contours. Makes it a bit easier for working um, the paper towels through all those areas. So I'm not too sure if you guys can see exactly how much is this cleaning. That is now spotless compared to all the gunk that was on there before. So we're just simply wiping that all away because all the chemicals done all the work for us. And you can see what a big difference that makes as soon as we wipe all this gunk out. Now with these grills, I'm going to leave this grill as is and I'm cleaning it on the spot. However, if you wanted to remove these, make it a bit easier for yourself. You simply spring these little clips down and your grill will pop out of place. And then you can return it back to where it was and we can clean it from there. So when it comes to these little corner sections here, you can get your paper towel, fold it a couple times. And then you can just use that corner of it and run it all along the edge. So as you guys can see, that is a lot better than what it was before. However, there's still a little bit more to go. So this little area here, what I use is a little scraper. So we just get that and then we want to just scratch off those edges like that. So just scratch that work all, all the way around, pick off all those sections that didn't come off and then we'll simply wipe it off. So once that's all nice and clean, then we can get a glass cleaner and we can simply clean this glass up. So for the trays, what we're using is a steel scourer, just a bit of warm water over the top, 
and all of this will come up perfect. And then just to finish the whole lot off, I like to use a little bit of a goo and stain remover, or you can use a bit of water and lemon. It's the same thing, it's got citrus in it, and that's all we're doing. That's simply gonna wipe off any of the excess stains, any more, a little bit of grease, grime, that anything that's left off, that'll simply wipe that all perfectly. So once that's done, that's the finished product. Beautiful. So there you have it guys, that's how to quickly clean your oven. Very cheap, very simple, took about 30 minutes in total. Um, if there's anything else you guys wanna learn how to do in or around your house, put it in the comment section below. As always, like, comment and subscribe. Until next time, I'm Bill. Thanks for watching Bill's How To.